Cooper, like Pallister in his second spell here on Teesside. Now Ziga, Ricard at the near post. Well, Paul Williams threw himself in bravely. Get it away, it was a vital defensive interception. First time that Middlesbrough have been able to get down either flank. And Ricard was waiting if Williams hadn't dived in front of him. Ziga's corner. And then away by Palmer. Straight back to where it came from. Now Festa! Well, Middlesbrough have started much the brighter of the two sides. And Gianluca Festa scores his first goal of the season with some aplomb. Although Gordon Strachan and the rest of the Coventry defenders, I'm sure, would be saying that he should never have got the chance. It was Pallister with the flick on. Palmer's air shot. And Fester, not expecting the ball to come towards him, but when it did, he took it away. Challenge was a little late on Ricard. He plays, allowed to continue his summer belt. Flick on from Ince now, Andy Campbell running at Richard Shaw. Campbell goes alone and Hedman's missed it. He just about got something on it to bundle it wide. The Middlesbrough very nearly two up inside the opening nine minutes. And Campbell quite happy to run at Richard Shaw. Did it take a bobble in front of Hedman? Perhaps it did. He was lucky to be able to spoon it wide. Summerbell. Long legs of Hadji winning it back temporarily. And then Pallister hits it forward looking for Ricard. Williams came across the cover. And just had his ankles caught by the Colombian and the two squaring up to each other referee Graham Barber quick to intervene and certainly I think Williams saw Ricard trying to follow up no love lost between the two of them there and the free kick goes Coventry's way Now Ziga again, this is a fantastic move by Middlesbrough, will there be an end product? Not initially, but it will be a second Middlesbrough corner. <laughs> Wonderful interchange of passes down the Middlesbrough left, Ricard and Ziga on the same wavelength this time. Ziga prepares to take the corner with five to aim at, Cooper's made her on towards the near post. This is Janino. And he pulls it back. What a goal by Hamilton Rickard. Middlesbrough double their advantage in some style. And after eight games without a goal, Hamilton Rickard finally breaks his long goal drought. Middlesbrough two up. And are they on their way to just their second win in their last 15 games? There could be no better time for it to come. Well, they scored for their first corner. Coventry equally unable to deal with this one. Janino with a perfectly weighted pass and Ricard smacking it home from 25 yards to make it 2-0 to Middlesbrough. Still no way forward. Middlesbrough standing firm at the moment. Here's David Burrows for Coventry. Brought down by Roussel as the red shirts backed away. Janino and Campbell can link up to get the ball away. Now Janino running at Richard Shaw. This is where he's at his most dangerous. Ricard forward in support for him. No chance of a second for Hamilton Ricard on this occasion. It was a very optimistic effort with Hedman only a couple of yards off his line and at six foot five. Very difficult man to chip. Didn't stop Ricard having a go. David Burrows has taken up the space on the Coventry left-hand side. Time for an extravagant piece of control. Again, Middlesbrough outwitting the Coventry midfield. Shaw misjudged the bounce of the ball. Ricard will try and make him pay.
Well, that's where Coventry have really had their problems this afternoon. At the back, they have looked far from comfortable. This time, the error was from Shaw. Rickard turning inside him. And in the end, running out of room as Williams closed him down. Not even the remotest sign that Coventry can get themselves back into this game. They will take heart, I suppose, from the cup tie they had against Charlton three weeks ago when they were two up after a similar stage. Keane! Just wide. The closest that they've come. Robbie Keane seizing on the long ball forward and a momentary lapse in the Middlesbrough defence. Sure it was that played it. As it was flicked on by Carton Palmer, Keane did well to get inside two Middlesbrough defenders. Couldn't quite get the angle right. Burrows and Chipo going for the same ball. McAllister. Now Roussel. Set the sights from a long way out. The ball deflects away for Coventry's first corner of the second half. Well, Roussel's been in a rich vein of goal-scoring form, but there's been precious little go his way so far this afternoon. McAllister to take the corner. Carlton Palmer causing a nuisance right under the nose of Mark Schwarzer. But no Coventry player there to attack the second ball, and Middlesbrough can break. And the pace of Campbell will cause problems as he runs at Richard Shaw. Janino to his left-hand side. Still Janino. Good shot, just wide. It would have been a marvellous goal. Classic counter-attacking football at its very best. Campbell's pace. The ball, in truth, wasn't that good as he tried to find Janino. Underhit it, but Janino did well. Great pace shown by Campbell. Janino just having to cut back inside. Gustafsson had a sniff trying to get the ball away. Janino couldn't quite bring the ball back enough. Genio sprints forward to offer himself for the short one, and it was whipped in with great venom by Ziga. Middlesbrough's previous corners had just been flighted in towards the near post, looking for the flick on, but that one driven in with some pace. Hedman happy to get it away. Again, it's hit with pace towards Pallister at the near post, but he couldn't steer his effort goalwards. Pallister doing well to step off McAllister and get a free header towards goal. He's only managed one goal in this his second spell at Middlesbrough, and only seven in total. Quinn's throw. Breen hoping to help it on into the danger area. Keane! Well, it would have been a quite sensational goal. 